Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In this video, I will share with you five VS Code extensions that I use every day. But before we do that, as always, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. The first extension that we will cover today, it lets you search and browse and quickly jump to your previously opened and saved projects. So if you're working on multiple projects, you can definitely quickly jump between them by just pressing Option, Command and P. And here is the list of my project saved on this computer. This handy extension is called Project Manager and is created by Alessandro Fragnini. As you can see, it has a lot of downloads, so it's very, very popular. And if you download it, it lets you create a list of projects and you can quickly jump between them. Okay, so let's create a new folder and create a new project. I'll create a new test folder inside of my YouTube demos folder and we'll try to open this inside of VS Code. Okay, here we can simply create a new file and we'll make it index HTML. So we'll change this to HTML, put some dummy content inside of here. It doesn't really matter. And we'll save it as index HTML. And we'll try to save this project as a new project. So we press F1, project manager, and then we will click on the save project. We'll give it a name. And if I now open brand new VS Code window and press Alt, Command and P, we should see the testing project management in the list, which will open a new window with my project. And if we press again Alt, Command and P, we can go to any other project. Okay, so very handy. What if we want to remove the project from the list? Again, we go to the F1 project management and edit projects. As you can see, this is a simple list. This is a simple array of objects and we can go in here and remove this, which should remove it from our list. Once I reboot VS Code, we should not see that project in the list anymore. Okay, so this is very handy project management. Now let's open this React Router and Firebase dummy project. I'll align it and now we will go to some long file like this webpack config.js. And the extensions I want to mention now is very handy, especially when you're working with long files. And that is if you want to work on this little bit of code and then you need to check something at the top and then go back to the place you were before. So you can easily put a little marker here by pressing Alt, Command and K and you'll see this blue marker, the blue bookmark. And if I go to the top where all my variables are stored, I can do the same thing, Alt, Command and K. And now I can use Alt, Command and L or J to jump between these two spots. Okay, so very handy, especially when you're working on longer file and you want to quickly jump to specific section. You can have as many of these markers as you like. Alt, Command and K sets it. Alt, Command and J goes to the previous and Alt, Command and L go to the next one. Okay, so this extension is called Bookmarks and is created again by, by Alessandro Fragnani. Okay, so the same author as the project management tool we've covered before. So as you can see, Alessandro Fragnani creates very useful extensions. Again, this is bookmarks for VS Code and lets you jump easily between multiple sections. To remove it, Alt, Command and K, and then we can jump and remove all of them. There is more shortcuts to this. We can go to the menu, type in bookmarks, and here you see all the other keyboard shortcuts related to this extension. But I found that setting, removing and going to the next and previous is the most useful. I'm sure you came across the same issue before 
when you're having a lot of HTML and you're wondering where is this starting, where is this ending, is this div closing, this div, just would be nice to have some connection between the opening and closing tags, some sort of rules, and that's exactly what the next extension does. After installing the guides extension, you get these lines which are connecting the opening and closing divs and helps you to visually connect the indentation and correct the indentation. So this extension is called guides from spyware and it has a lot of settings as well. So if you want to change the colors or the thickness of the lines, you can do that as well. Normal indentation guides rendering width. So if we copy it and put it inside of our VS code config file, workspace, open workspace settings, and inside of here, we can define this as a new line. Just get rid of the comma at the end and this should on restart render the lines much thicker. So let's try three. We'll go back to the login and as you can see, now the line is much more thicker. So if you prefer that, if you're blind like me, you can change it to any value. I found a three or two are reasonable values. Okay, so I'll keep it as two and that's how you define the thickness of the lines. You can also play with the colors, but there is some warning from the author that changing the colors will slow it down quite a lot. Okay, so be careful what you're changing. I feel like changing just the thickness is enough, but here are all the other settings to customize your guides to your liking. The next extension is related to HTML. So we are in index HTML file. We want to type in couple lorem ipsum words. So inside of VS code, we can simply type in lorem and six. This is a built-in feature of VS code. So this is not done by any extension. We'll hit tab and that will expand six words of lorem ipsum. And now we want to select the whole line and wrap it in a tag. So I'm pressing Alt and W and that will automatically wrap it in a paragraph. If I want to change the tag to div, I can simply type in div and it will replace the starting and closing tag as well. Okay, so this extension is called HTML tag wrap. Where is it? Here it is, HTML tag wrap by Brad Gashler. And as you can see, very good rating, very, very handy. Okay, so on PC, Looks like it's Alt and W on a Mac, Option and W. This is very easy, very handy extension. Just by pressing Option and W, I can simply wrap this in a strong tag. And the last extension that we will cover today is very handy, especially if you're working with some of the modern JavaScript libraries like React or Angular. And this extension helps you to complete your import statements. So if I type in from and inside of quotes, I try to type in and find the right location of my component, I can easily navigate through the hierarchy and structure of my project and find what I need. Okay, so container, there is an app and that's how we could import it. Okay, so the extension which lets you autocomplete the path here is called Path IntelliSense from Christian Koller. As you can see again, a lot of downloads, very popular, and it helps you to autocomplete not just the React import statements, but also any file references inside of your HTML files. And that's it all for today. I'm very curious to know what are your favorite VS Code extensions. So let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the next video where we will explore Git and how to work with Git inside of VS Code. Until then, happy coding. Bye.